Some of my colleagues have reported some work in the very prestigious journal Science where they've converted organic molecules called alcohols into amines. Amines are valuable products that go into a lot of applications such as pharmaceuticals, uh, adhesives, surface coatings, polymers, plastics. They're largely made by traditional chemical processes from precursors which are derived from oil. The work was all about trying to find biological ways to making uh, chiral amine building blocks. The traditional chemical way of doing that is really not a sustainable process. the big chemical companies who produce these products. They want to get the temperatures and the energy requirements of their processes reduced. They want to minimise waste. One of the nice features of this application is that the only waste product actually is water, which is not really a waste product at all. This is a really important piece of work because this is a transformation that's done by chemical industry on absolutely massive scales. And what my colleagues have done is they've nicked a trick out of nature's handbook and they're using enzymes to try and promote these chemical reactions. And the two reactions that normally have to be done separately can be brought together and done in one reaction vessel by using two different enzymes. We do this by a process called directed evolution. We can take the natural wild type enzyme and we can improve it in the laboratory and that involves taking that enzyme, putting it in an organism such as E. coli and then uh, growing the enzyme, making it better and ultimately extracting it and applying it for the process that we've intended. One of the major benefits of this science is the fact that it is exploiting enzymes because they are very selective. This is to do with what we call chirality. My right hand, no matter what you try and do with it, you can't superimpose it on the left hand and so it's really important to not only make the chemical formula of the molecule correct but to get the right hand. and it turns out that enzymes are incredibly good at generating the hand of the molecule that you want to make. One of the drivers behind this particular project is it draws on interdisciplinary skills and that's something we do really well here in the Institute of Biotechnology and, and School of Chemistry. So this project would not have happened without a collaboration between groups who are clearly expert in, in chemical synthesis and more chemical aspects of the work, but also a major input from people coming from a biology background. And it's that type of synergy that really drives new research projects forward at the interface of, of traditional academic disciplines, and that's what Manchester does really well. Well, 